An interview held with a representative from a Japanese broadcasting company for release in April 1961 for use in Japan. From the cabinet room of the White House, March 25th, 1961. As my first question, may I ask that you give your interpretation of the new frontier and its underlying philosophy? Well, I think the uh, phrase the new frontier means two things. First, that uh, science and technology yes. have brought uh, within the reach, really, of every man an opportunity for a newer and more fruitful life. The changes which uh, science and chemistry of all kinds, out of space, in the earth, under the sea, the impact that all these scientific advances have made, I think, can change the kind of life we live in this globe of ours in the next 10, 20, or 30 years. And I want to make sure that here in the United States that we recognize that we're on the brink of an entire new era, which can mean a better life for our own people here, better life for the people of Japan, better life for people around the globe. And we want science to be used for that peaceful, useful purpose. So the new frontier expresses uh, that hope. In addition, on a different level, the new frontier means, I hope, a rebirth of the commitment of the people of the United States and the people around the world to the cause of freedom, to the cause of liberty. We uh, believe that uh, government exists to serve the people, to protect the rights of the people. This great uh, cause is now at issue throughout the world in men's minds. I want my country, and I hope, uh, and I'm sure that the people of Japan feel the same way, to stand as symbols of what freedom can mean, not only national freedom, but individual freedom. So the new frontier occupies our hopes in both of these areas for a more, a better material life and a more uh, immediate spiritual life under a system of freedom. My next question is also very broad. I would be most grateful if we in Japan could hear from the President of the United States his views concerning the future U.S.-Japan relation. Well, I think that uh, I'm extremely hopeful that uh, these years ahead we'll see a continuing development of uh, more uh, friendly and harmonious relations between Japan and uh, the United States. We are linked by uh, not only the Great Pacific Ocean, which uh, reaches both of our shores, but I think we're also linked by a desire for peace, a desire for a better life for our people. And I believe that as Japan uh, grows in uh, strength and in world uh, prestige, as the United States' uh, commitment to the cause of peace is understood more and more around the world, I believe that uh, the United States and Japan can enter a new and harmonious era in its relations between two great independent people who are bound together by a desire for peace and a desire to maintain the cause of freedom. So I look forward to a close relations with Japan and the United States, and I can assure you that we in this country will do everything we possibly can to strengthen those relations. Now, Mr. President, concerning a lasting world peace, could you, Mr. President, explain for us your formula and hopes for achieving lasting world peace, including the atomic ban and also space programs? Well, I think that uh, I am hopeful that we'll be able to maintain uh, peace in the world. With the development of these new and uh, terrible weapons, uh, uh, war uh, no longer offers any, if it ever did, any solution to the differences between uh, nations. I'm hopeful that it will be possible for us over a period of time to develop a world community which will permit us to solve our problems without resort to force, without resort to war. Uh, I think we should be devoting our efforts to that end. As the weapons become more destructive, uh, we have to substitute other means of settling disputes between uh, uh, countries so that uh, we in this country, and, uh, and I'm sure in Japan, should be concerning ourselves with what other international techniques can be developed 
which will provide for an orderly settlement of disputes without force. I'm hopeful that uh, outer space can be used for uh, peaceful purposes. It really should be an effort by all mankind in this very small globe of ours to explore outer space. It should not be so much a national challenge as a challenge to all the people of the world to probe outwards. And uh, I'm hopeful that uh, at the United Nations and by other means we can work out some guarantees that outer space will be used for peaceful purposes. And I can assure you that this administration is interested in that. We maintain uh, our strength here and uh, others do around the world in order to protect our security. But I am uh, confident that we must begin to work towards an international system which will permit a settlement of disputes, a strengthening of the United Nations, a strengthening of the United Nations police forces so that they can help keep the peace between nations. So that uh, the future may be uh, hazardous, but uh, our purpose is clear, and the purpose of your country is clear, I know. Mr. President, my last question concerns your foreign aid program. What are the goals of this program, and uh, what role should the other nations of the free world play in cooperating with the U.S. in this field? Well, our goals are to uh, assist in uh, along with other nations, Japan and the Western European countries, other industrialized societies, to assist uh, the newly emerging countries to achieve a uh, rate of economic growth to satisfy the needs of their people. Freedom and liberty cannot flourish when the people go to bed hungry every night without adequate shelter. We uh, therefore hope that we can put into these countries in concert with our associated friends sufficient resources with their own efforts to provide over a period of time that they will be able to build a viable e economy. Now that's extremely difficult. We've got many new nations. Many of them have uh, average incomes which are staggeringly low. But this country is prepared to play its part in assisting these countries as it has uh, since uh, uh, in the last 15 years. Japan is also playing its part, and I hope that it will be possible for us in the coming days to work in closer cooperation with Japan and the countries of Western Germany, uh, uh, countries of Western Europe, uh, in order to uh, put into Latin America, Africa, South Asia sufficient resources to enable these people to raise the standard of living of their people. Otherwise, uh, freedom cannot survive in those areas. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you.